Hey, hey, crafty friends, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky DIY, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba, Canada. Um, scrap attack. I have our regular size card base. I'm using inspirational sketches today as our stamp set. Um, I had a bunch of half inch strips of bubble bath, um, as well as a little bit of an off cut, um, which is four by five and a quarter and a new not scrap piece of basic black that I'm going to be using as my mat layer. But I've also got a couple of scraps um, that I punched out earlier this week um, that I might use. I'm not sure. I haven't quite decided yet. And I've got a piece of scrap basic white that I'm going to be stamping the flower from Inspirational Sketches and... Grateful for you is the stamp that I've chosen. So I'm just going to do a bunch of tone on tone randomness for this one. Um, you can use your paper trimmer to cut if you want to, or you can use a pair of scissors, which I am choosing um, mostly because it's easier and I don't want to get my, oops, I don't want to get my paper trimmer. I just cleaned all the glue and gunk off of it, so I don't want to get more glue and gunk on it. So I'm just kind of doing some random spacing here. And to get the glue or the tape off of my scissors, all I'm going to do is rub it over with some rubbing alcohol. And easy peasy, lemon squeezy, it'll be done. Okay, so I'm going to take this little tiny strip and position it this way. Whoops, not quite. All right, please don't rip, please don't rip. I don't know, does anybody else do the please don't tear prayer? I've been fairly successful with it mostly. All right, so that's three strips so far. Um, not sure if I'm gonna do all of the way, but we'll see. Let's see how far these strips get me. There. So if you enjoy the content on this channel, please like and subscribe. Um, I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to watch. I love showcasing ideas. Um, to other paper crafting enthusiasts and I do really like to try to keep my videos 15 minutes or less um, just because sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming and we just want a quick little project that we can do and grab. Now I do also fully encourage you that if you do try any of these projects um, to use what you have on hand. If you have a color that you love or a stamp set that you love Give it a try and see if you like it. That's the beautiful thing about paper crafting. We can jump off with ideas and make them totally unique and different just by changing up the inks and the stamps and the papers that we're using. All right, so I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to grab my matte layer and put it together and then stick it onto my card base mostly so that I don't lose it because if you've been around for more than five seconds, you know that... Well, the craft room gremlins are alive and well in this craft room and they do like to mess with me regularly. I also have my feline supervisor in here with me today. She is currently sleeping. It does not mean she won't make a guest appearance though. All right, so there's our card base. So we've got our five strips. Just adds a little bit of interest and texture. If you wanted to, you could go over it um, with ink before you put it together just to kind of make it pop a little bit. Um, Berry Burst actually would be quite pretty with that. So now we're gonna grab our Memento ink because coloring with blends, Memento is the ink to use. I like ink to stamp because I find that it gives me a little bit more control 
and I can see where it might need a little bit of extra coverage and it also helps me not get much of a halo. But if you get a halo, it's not the end of the world. It can always be covered up. That's why bling was invented, right? Okay. So I'm going to leave this on the page until I am finished coloring and then I'm going to grab the two and three eighths inch punch and we're going to punch it out. I've chosen fairly subtle colors for this one. Um, I might actually a different green. I had light old olive, but colors this one mossy meadow. It's pretty dark too. Um, old olive. There we go. Maybe granny apple green. Even the light old olive is fairly dark. I'll just do a quick test and see which one. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. The colors that I have are light petal pink and SU 900. This, um, the 900 is part of the neutrals collection, but I chose it because it's a soft yellow or like a pinky yellowy color. So I'm going to do our flowers in petal pink. And then I'm gonna go over it with the lighter color and pick up where I want the color to be a little bit lighter. That's the fun thing with blends. You can deepen or lighten the color depending on how you layer them. And it makes it really quick and easy. Um, I will be punching this out, as I said, but you can also um, fussy cut if you chose. I'm actually really liking petal pink on this flower. I got this set mostly because of the chickadee. Um, absolutely love them. Now, if you don't like coloring, you don't have to color it either. You can leave this just black and white. It's absolutely stunning. Um, or you can stamp it on whatever color you want. Okay. I'm using the knob end just because the flower petals are a little bit small. And I do want to make sure that I don't go over the edge too much. Um, now I'm not going to, but also if you wanted to where there's white areas, like where the flowers and the leaves aren't showing, um, you can color it in with blue to pretend like it's sky, or you can add a little bit more of a, some sort of a background color. Gray might like, try that again. Light gray would work. So that, that's a leaf. Okay, so there's our flowers. Um, I want something a little bit darker for the buds. Uh oh, no, Calypso Coral's too orange. Maybe flirty flamingo. You know what, that will work, but I am going to lighten it up a little bit after I color. Because the buds are usually darker than the flowers anyway. I don't want them this dark. I can't wait for things to start growing soon, I hope. Okay, SU900. Alright, so I'm just going to go and add just to lighten it up. And you can see... As I'm applying, it does lighten a bit. And then I'm gonna go in on the petals and just kind of add oh. there we go. It doesn't take long. I love coloring with blends because you can be as detailed or as quick and dirty as you want. Sorry, I live in the country and I feel like I just heard a cow in my yard. 
and we don't have a cow. Anyway, um, and we have no plans to add to the barnyard anytime soon. Further proof that anything can happen here at any point. Because frankly, it wouldn't surprise me if a random animal just showed up. Just gonna do the leaves in old olive. Truly the longest part of this card is the coloring. And if you don't want to color, you don't have to color. I'm not sure if that's a leaf or a petal. I think I'll just leave it as it is. And then I'll just go gently and quickly over with our granny apple green. All right. So our flower is done. Put our blends back and we're just gonna punch. So as always, when you punch, you wanna make sure that your image is where you want and then I just give it a bit of a press before I punch to make sure it's not gonna move. I'm actually surprised that that didn't jump out of my hands. All right, let's see. Yeah, you know what? I think I am going to add a little bit of black behind it just to zhuzh it up a bit. And I'm using this piece that I uh, had a bit of a chunk, chomp out of. And then we'll do this way. Um, dimensionals, I think. I like to have a little bit of a lift to elements on my card occasionally. Aim for center, and then I think we're gonna do. No, that's not the right color. Will that fit? Well, let's try it and see. Oops, helps if you take the sticker off the back. And then we'll take this guy just to make sure that we don't have anything going over. A couple of taps and we're good to go. I haven't put the stickers on this set yet, so not a bad fit. That actually looks pretty good. I'm a little surprised. I don't know. I'm always kind of surprised when things go according to plan in my craft room because, well, <laughs> they don't always. I'm going to leave that and then we'll do some dimensionals. Now there is an awful lot of pink on this card and that's really not a color that I tend to use a whole ton. Um, although I really do like bubble bath. I'm a little surprised because the softer pinks, actually softer colors like pastels are not usually something that I gravitate to, but we're going to add the fine sparkle adhesive back gems just to have a little bit of a different pop of color. Grab your, take your pick. And I'm gonna grab the blue actually. And we're just gonna pop it around in a couple of different spots. Um, I do like odd numbers on my cards. Oops, move that over a bit. So we'll do, I think seven, five, six and seven. So a little bit of texture, a little bit of sparkle. Um, if you wanted to, you could go over Wink of Stella. 
um, which apparently is back in the Stampin' Up! store. It was on back order for a while, but it's back again. So if you love it, grab it. Um, and if you want to shop with me, my link is down below. So thank you so much for watching Scrap Attack. I truly appreciate you spending some time with me. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.